I'm now with John from the Main Brains, who also runs a local magazine called uh, Rocks. It's not that local, though. It's nationwide. A national magazine? Yeah. Well, first of all, as we are in Blackpool, and your, your, uh, the magazine is published here in Blackpool, um, what, sort of, what sort of venues are there? Or what sort of a place is it like for a person that was a hipster to be in? Not very good, really. There's nowhere to go, really. It's all the clubs are pretty dead these days. They always have been pretty bad, because there's always been a bit of a bouncer problem. I don't think I should say that, though. So I'm probably getting the face filled in next time we go out. <laughs> well, so it's not over-friendly, really. How about the summer? Because in the summer, that you must get all the great celebs from, uh, you know, there would be Little and um, Large and... Barbara Windsor. <laughs> yeah, and they all come, do they? And they? Yeah, yeah, they come down to our gigs and we hang around with them. Yes. So and there, and there, is, there a, is there a sort of an underworld scene here? Well, there used to be a few good bands years ago, but they've all like, left over the years. Because it's just that sort of place that a band can't do well in, because it's like a small town atmosphere. Mm. That's but, I mean, it has a definite surreal feel to it, because of all these... Uh, everywhere you go, there's amusement arcades and... Uh, and, and People from outside always think it's like, surreal. Like, I've always done interviews here, and they always think it's like, really weird and wacky how you come from a town, people kiss me quick hats on, things like that. And they walk around, always really stupid looking people. But for most of the bands don't even hang around this bit. We all live out in the, used to live out in the suburbs and things. So we just think it's ridiculous. Well, I'll let you say, I mean, for instance, for our mode of transport, or for our mode of transport, at the moment we've got, we've chosen this rather whimsical thing here. And I mean, I suppose if you live with it and had it every day of the week and you had to go to school on something like that, you think no more of it, you see. But a lot of our viewers who don't, who don't have anything like this would think, God, what a great, what a great, what a great thing. Well, I'm sure they would, I'm sure they've got more intelligence. Well, <laughs> just, before we, just before we get to... Oh, I don't know, I wouldn't mind a thing like that to get around London. <laughs>